closer and closer. And I'm just waiting to see this me sword fighter finally do the deed that numbers have been putting in the time to try and do. That is true. I, I have been seeing him like specifically use this character for uh, PK Chris. Yeah, so, and the thing is, like, there's the reason, you can see the reason why he does it when they play for one that forward air. Remember how you last game, you were like, wow, I can't believe that Robin forward air lost to PK Chris's forward air. Yeah. Me sword fighter forward air doesn't do that. No, it doesn't. It just, it just pokes out and it does its job. And there are going to be a bunch of uh, attack grabs with uh, a bunch of other things that we're probably going to be seeking relevant. For one, you'll notice uh, PK Chris doesn't even try to go for down smash. Uh -uh. Me sword fighter up to never gets hit by it. Not up these? Let's mid. Really? Yes. In order to. <laughs> <laughs> Something you never saw to see that. Man, this thing right now is neck and neck. Oh, Chakra. We saw how the Chakra came, at, came back at him. That kill confirmed, and a hitbox is always accurate. You can confirm that. Now. Oh, that's, that's I like the fact that numbers didn't go over commit into trying to. Is he dead? Oh, that was smart. Jumping away and then coming back with an up. You go shield! <laughs> that would have broken it. Ooh, okay! Oh, let me explain what just happened right there. So basically, that me sword fighter down B is actually Mario Cape. And there is, yes, it is. a number was telling me about this. So Mario Cape and me sword fighter down B, there's a little known thing about this where when you first get hit by it, it reverses your controls for an instant. And that's why he up B tried to angle it, but it reversed his controls and sent the up B into the stage to kill him. Oh, that's exactly what happened right there. And this is why I'm excited for it, is that I have been hearing numbers rant about all the things he's going to try and do in this matchup for months now. I'm and we're actually win. seeing it happen here, as he has a decent lead at 57%. PK Chris is fighting from behind right now. That was beautiful. Yeah, he is fighting very high, but again, it's nice. All he just needs is like one nest combo, and it's kind of not even a combo, just an advantage state. And and he's kind of just making all the percent up. That nair stopping is going in. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh wow, oh, that downer has landing hitboxes, and that downer is kind of ridiculous. It's a good get off me option. Yeah, I will say numbers have been jumping off of the ledge, jumping out of the corner quite a bit here. And that's the sort of thing that, oh, oh can be quite risky. Ooh, but he's not taking that. Take the trade. We're hey, back at neutral. Not the best trade in the world for numbers. He had a really nice lead there. And oh, you saw that. He had an exact plan. Oh, and th that was good. This is nope. the sort of thing where, like, this matchup is specifically engineered for PK Chris and this Ness. And you're seeing that actually, you know, the way that that's playing out, the reflecting, the way that he's ledge trapping and edge guarding. PK Chris is fighting from, like, on the, he's on the back foot right now. He's really fighting for his life in the set. He's gotta get him off his, gotta try some nonsense right here, but John Numbers is ready for the projectiles to come out. Look at that, every single time. Oh, God, hold off stage with him. <laughs> There's some silly things going on here, but Numbers has been trapped on the ledge for quite a bit. And now he's getting to the scary point where if he's not careful, <laughs> he might die. He will die. A tornado up air will, will, be the, will be the icing on the cake for this. That was Great so tech. smart. <gasps> but he missed the ledge, and that's so unfortunate. I don't know if that was a straight up miss of the ledge. I think he actually was trying to hit him. I, you know, like go past the ledge and hit him so for it. If he tried to hit him, that might have been just not, that was, I, even I can say that that was not to play. Chris was ready to like jump back and back here or just something like that. He was, his hands was on the trigger. The trigger was ready. Yeah. He was just waiting on the reaction. And Chris's reaction time is not bad at all. Oh. Oh. This is the song you pick. I missed it. Oh, this I is the song you pick. You pick out of all the Kirby songs at your disposal. You got Gourmet Race. You got World to Win. You got Crowd. But you pick this one? Okay, this kind of bops. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, very judgmental. Good I sir. am. So, because there's just so many better songs. When it comes to music choice in the game, in the game I, I am judging people. Okay, you know what? No. There, there are so many better songs in Star Allies than this oh. one. He's dead. He, no, he's oh not. my god, he lived. Oh, he's he dead. Chris is dead. Why? Whoa. <laughs> oh. No, he had to stop him from playing to 25 M. Shut up, Jigun. Uh, he, stopped, he stopped him from uh, colliding into ledge and getting the bounce. I. 
think he was too far away from that. I mean, it's it's the sort of thing where if you know that you're not going to die for it, it's a double tap, but it's also a very expensive double tap. Yeah. You know what I mean? It took a lot of percent on that. But I mean, numbers, he's, he earned that stock lead, and let's see how much he can actually do with it. Trapped off stage. <coughs> Sending him off stage. Ooh. Not able to get the follow up. He, was re he wasn't ready for him to go that angle. He put that notice. Ooh. That grab. Notice that every time PK Chris runs up to numbers, he's just running up and he's shielding. He is not pressing a button at all. John Numbers recognizing that and getting that grab immediately. That one grab led into all this. Way too late, and he went way too deep onto that. <laughs> that down here too. <laughs> that was, yeah, I don't know. That was questionable. If he had actually gotten hit by the PK Thunder, though, that would have prevented him from recovering, and that would have been hilarious. Oof. Numbers once. Like, this is, it kind of, it's the sort of thing where he, he's willingly putting himself in, on ledge a lot, which, I mean, that's what he's used to with Wii Fit. And the ledge play has been pretty good for him, but it's still just, it feels so much more dangerous as new Sword Fighter. Yep. Ooh. Oh my god. That downer is so... It, the hit, the side hitboxes on it are what's the deceptively big about that move. You think you got the space to punish it when really you get, you're get you getting hit and pulled downwards and it's wild. I gave Great Perry's not... Uh, PK Chris not choosing to extend a lot. Yeah. Choosing to like, keep it back and just put the pressure on like... He's, notice how grounded he's being right now. He's action. standing on the ground throwing out these like... Oh, Numbers almost dying to that! Oh, what are you doing? Oh. Ooh, he could have exploded! I Ooh. Back into the clutch of PK Chris and back into a disadvantage. John Numbers goes! Literally did not get John the chance to play the game that, that, that time. Yeah, and now here comes the edge guard. Numbers not even able to body block it. He just takes 25 for no reason. Mm -hmm. Tries to reflect it and it did not go to the favor. Back here, can I take it? Not enough. Yes, yes. Sacrum sending him off. Yeah, just using him to let him recover that time. And this is where things get so tricky. He needs to take the stock, even if he does. You know, Pika Chris is respawning with numbers at 80%. And that's like very close to death percent. Very. Then, it looks kind of wild. Like, despite how well John Arbor is playing, he and Chris is still in the lead. It's like, I feel like a neutral. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. And that's set oh. knockback. I'd be forgetting that move has set knockback. Like, you would think at 94% he'd be set up into the blast zone. No. He goes up all calm and slow and whatnot. And then, boom, forward air confirmed. Why, bro? Okay. And this is where, oh, this comeback might happen. He stumped, sniped his jump. He still doesn't have a jump. Still doesn't have a jump. He hasn't gotten back down to the ground. Oh, oh, he tries to reflect him off stage, send him in the tumble. But I mean, already they're getting nice damage, but John at the ledge once more. PK Chris, why did you wonder what that was? Oh, that reflector almost working, but a little bit of a delay from PK Chris keeps him alive. Oh, this might be it. That the final edge guard, was... huge. And there it is. Numbers putting himself at the ledge just a few too many times. He believed. He really went for those edge.